Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Recruit Edition and the small format called Rulebook that come in the Kill Team Starter Box. Now, you might be wondering, well, the Starter Box has been available to buy for a little while. Why are we only talking about these things? Now, um, if you've watched my previous video on the channel, you know that I've talked about what's in the Recruit Edition and the, the value proposition that it, that it, that it is. But I... I'm not a big enough YouTube channel to get things sent to me early to review fully. And I really wanted to give people the, the sort of full um, experience of what the two books are, the two bits of it that are brand new. So I got those off eBay as separate parts, um, and I'm going to talk about them in this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the mini rulebook. Um, so it is page for page identical to the full size book. Um, insofar as every page it reproduces is a, a true reproduction, but it's missing the first 49 pages that are in the core rules book, um, the, the big one that you can buy for £30, or that came in the Octarius uh, launch box. Um, so the bits that it's missing, basically, there's a section called Welcome to the Kill Zone, which tells you about the concept of miniature wargaming, about buying and collecting uh, miniatures uh, and painting them. And then there's the 10,000 year, year, years of war section, which basically is um, a primer to the Warhammer 40,000 universe um, in general. And so if you're familiar with Warhammer 40k at all, um, then you really miss nothing by getting this small format rulebook. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is that it does contain the full open play and narrative play sections. So... Some people thought it might be a bit analogous to the, the, the 40k rules that come in the um, the Grand Tournament books, where you, where you used to get... I actually don't think you do in the current one, but that's by the by. But in last year's Grand Tournament book, you got a cut-down version of the 40k rules that didn't include, like, Combat Patrol, for example. Um, but this is literally all the rules content from the core rulebook, every single of the three ways to play, everything you could want. The only thing you're missing is that background that... To be fair, you're going to read once if you all read. I know some people buy the books and never read the background, so you buy it once uh, and it's it's there. So you've, you've lost that. It's a smaller format, so the font is smaller. So if eyesight uh, is an issue for you, then that might be something worth bearing in mind. But overall, I think it is a great little book, uh, a great space saver. Um, if you've watched my previous video about the stuff that I have packed up for my Games of Kill theme in that plastic box that's on Amazon... Um, then it's about the same width as that box. It won't fit inside the box, it's too thick, but it's about the same width. It's not going to take up a lot of extra space in your bag. Um, I find it much quicker to find stuff because it's smaller, you can kind of thumb through it more easily with one hand, find the pages that you want. And because it's um, a functional object, like a rules manual, and so for me, and this is very personal to me, but because it feels more like a functional instruction manual, a tool, I feel less precious about sticking in those, um, you know, you can get these sticky tabs to put in to, to find the right sections of the book. And I'd be quite happy to, if there was a rata that I wanted to stick in, I'd happily stick it in. I'd happily, like, write in the margins and that kind of thing. I feel less precious about doing that kind of thing. Whereas for the full rule book with the fluff section, and this is just me, I know some people, uh, you know, they, they get spiral bound and they do all kinds of things to them. But I feel much more comfortable kind of modifying somewhat this little manual it's a small it's a functional item it's not meant to be although it is reasonably aesthetically pleasing it's got the same uh, cover image as, as the the rule book you can buy for 30 pounds but i just think it's a really nice small font rule book and the key message here is that you miss nothing in terms of rules the only thing you're missing is that 49 pages of background so highly highly recommended and now i'm going to talk about something more interesting was about the recruit edition book um recruit edition is weird because it being called Recruit Edition invites you to think that it's a cut-down version of the rulebook. It's it's not. It's it's not really um, that. It's not really an edition of anything. It's its own thing. I would have perhaps called it Recruit's Guide or, or something like that, or or Getting Started in Kill Team, or uh, you know, Delage Training Manual. But edition seems like a strange word. Anyway. Um, so there are 10 pages of Welcome to the Kill Zone, which is, if you just listen to the last slide, it's one of the big fluff sections that they cut out of the um, 
the the core book is in this book so this is the section that tells you about what miniature wargaming is building a collection that sort of thing then you've got the fluff section just four pages orc commandos and death corps of krieg as far as i can tell there's a full a4 page of background for the commandos and the krieg which is new in that it's not actually copied and pasted sentences from anywhere but having read it there's nothing mind-blowing it is literally just a one-page summary of what a death corps of krieg is and what an orc commando is um and then there are some color shots of miniatures they're not exactly the same as the colors sections from the standard core rulebook but they're those same photographs just slightly moved around and put in a different order not particularly exciting then you've got this section on the tools of war which is two pages of content not quite copy and pasted from the full rulebook but it's very much remixed saying this is what a dice is and this is the measuring things and these are the data cards and that sort of thing uh we've got the missions which are 24 pages of new content i'm going to talk more about the missions on the next slide they're really the main bit of this that has value um talk more about that on that next slide you've got a six page section of basically advertising saying here's what you get in the core book which is kind of funny because you've got a core book in the set the only way to get this recruit edition is to get the core book at the same time uh telling you about buying the octarius book telling you about buying the, the full kill zone and that kind of thing and then finally you have all, all the data cards so if you've got an octarius book you've seen all the data cards for the krieg um and the commandos and you get all of those but it is just the data cards so there's no tactical objectives there's no um uh, special operations there's none of those things just literally the cards so let's talk a bit more about those missions there are four missions um in the book which drip feed the rules in bit by bit so none of them really are for a full game of kill team they're for little the little scenarios that are kind of scripted to teach you the full rules by the time you've played the four missions and there are set teams for each mission so it will tell you you know the krieg player is going to take these four models and the commando player is going to take these four models um if you want to play the missions and the reason i mention this because this is something i said in my initial review if you want to play the missions you end up building two commando boys but not more than two and if my i've never built a set of commandos if my understanding is right um you end up building two commando boys anyway and you build all the other specialists um and then you end up choosing between whether you want to take the 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 bomb squig and the gretchen or a standard commando boy so you can still follow this guide with one set of commandos uh one box of commandos and still build all the optimum uh alt commandos that you would want later in your career as a kill team player to play quote unquote proper games with the orc commandos if i'm wrong about that leave me a comment but i've looked at the orc commandos on the website i think i'm right in saying that, that if you build those every model in one box you'll end up with the optimum team and the two commando boys that you can swap in and out uh krieg have to build three normal troopers krieg are always going to have to get our second box to get all their options um and as has been said hundreds of times if you want to play krieg uh, in a meta way you end up wanting 14 bodies anyway you end up wanting four normal troopers so yeah uh it's not a huge problem for krieg you will have to buy a second box but you're always going to have to buy a second box so my take on this is it's an excellent way for two novices to learn the game um and by novices i mean people that have never played a miniature war games before um i think if you have an experienced player and a novice i think it could still be good because it gives you that framework although obviously you've got that one experienced player you can mix things up a bit um i think though it might get frustrating for two 40k players i think they'd want to go a bit faster i think maybe they'd read through the rules and go okay i see what's going on here and then maybe they'd be better off starting with the an open play mission uh you know in from the core rule book rather than going through these sort of getting started missions so final thoughts um i think that the mini core rule book is well worth picking up on ebay so even if you don't want the um 
the rest of the things in the starter set. Maybe you've already got Krieg and Orcs, or maybe you just don't want them because you, you know that you love a different team. But I think that mini cool rule book is my preferred way. If I want to buy a copy of the rules, if I didn't, especially if I didn't have any other copy of the rules, I'd be looking to score a mini cool rule book off of eBay. Um, now, you should never pay full price for a copy of Kill Team's core rules. Do not go into Games Workshop and buy the £30 core rule book. There are so many mini rule books and full size rule books from launch boxes still on ebay uh one thing i think really adds value to, the, to this video that i really want to point out to people if you are shopping on ebay for a, a rule book um the price isn't always an indicator of which book you're looking at um it's not the case that the mini rule book is always cheaper and the big rule book is always more expensive some people view the the big rule book as the superior product because it is physically larger, it has a higher page count, and some people view the mini rule book as the superior product because it is uh, easier to carry around and has the useless parts already removed, and so people will price them differently because they have those different mindsets. Uh, the key thing here is the little book has the picture of the Kriegsman, and in the bar it says core rules. And the big book has the same picture, the same heading, but in the bar at the bottom it says core book. Okay, so that's the difference. Um, and I just mentioned that because sometimes the scale of objects is difficult to say see from an eBay photo. So if you're browsing on eBay, that's how you know which book you're getting. If it says core rules, it's the small book. If it says core book, it's the larger book. Uh, and that's highly recommended, especially if you're getting it for about £20. Um, you know, bearing in mind that the, the to buy the full size version new is thirty pounds, um, and then you get your twenty five percent discount on that from a or twenty percent discount on that depending on where you shop. But still, if you're paying about you know eighteen to twenty quid for a core rule book for the mini rule, but that's really good. Uh, the recruit edition is irrelevant unless you know you're going to be teaching the game to somebody, and even then, I would say unless you know uh, you're going to be teaching the game to somebody who has never played a miniature war games before, I would say. Um, there aren't enough rules, I know it's probably been said by other people uh, earlier on, but there are not enough rules to play normal games of Kill Team with the Orcs or the Veteran Guardsmen in the Recruit Edition. If you want to play Orcs or Veteran Guardsmen, you're going to have to get hold a copy of the full uh, book for Octarius, whether that's from the now out of print Octarius launch set, or it's a separate Octarius book that you can buy from Games Workshop. That's the place you're going to find the rules for the Orcs and the Krieg. This book will not do that job. Great. Uh, I've got a longer video on the way about how to teach Kill Team. Um, I've now kind of done all the videos I wanted to do leading into that. So I've done this video and I've done the video that talks about the, the Fire Team bookshelf game that's like Kill Team Light. And there is a longer video coming that compares these two products and a few other ideas and talks about the best way to teach Kill Team to a new player. So look out for that. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a very good evening, morning, day, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Um, have a look at the things in the description. There's Element Games link. There's now a Noble Knights game link if you're over in the US. So that's a hobby store in the UK that I recommend. It's near where my wife's parents live. Been there. It's a very nice place. Uh, or an American store, which I have been asked to add in by viewers in America that would like somewhere to support the channel. So that's fantastic. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. The most important thing that I can ask you to do if you want to help out at the moment is just to subscribe. If you watched a couple of the videos, you like them, please just do press that subscribe button. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Cheerio, everybody.